This exhibit is called Spirit. When the explosion occurred, the fire and subsequent explosion in building M132 occurred. It knocked out the telephone system at the Thiokol chemical plant. Ms. Brown had driven her husband's truck that day to the plant. She struggled out to that truck. The phones were knocked out. The clocks froze at 10.53 a.m., the time of the explosion. She radioed to Kingsland, Georgia, and Ms. Dorothy Peoples answered that radio call. That began the response to the Thiokol chemical plant explosion, the emergency response. Without Twitter, without emails, the telephones out, it was the spirit and the grace of God, the swell of all people answering that call for help. The first line of defense were the workers. The 60 women working inside building M132, they testified their experience was they had experienced fires every day, two to three times a day. But this fire was unusual. It began at the end of one end of the assembly line, raced up the assembly line, and howled overhead. The ladies yelled, fire, fire. They left the building, and they evacuated. And as usual, the men would go in, put out the fire. When they give the all clear, they would come, they would give the all clear and the ladies will return to work. Well, this particular morning, when the ladies left the building, the men went in to clear out the building to make sure the women had evacuated. The explosion occurred and eight of those men died trying to save the life of the, of, of the other women, the 60 women. 21 of the women perished also. Now, this response to this emergency, 15 cities came. The Army, Navy, and the Coast Guard were called in. They had an explosion. And if you look at some of these pictures, which the Quilters Guild here in Kingsland made for us, they actually sewed in historical pictures into this quilt. Along the grounds, you can see the capsules of the trip flares from the building. These firefighters and first responders rushed onto a site, led number one by Mr. Morris People from the Kingsland Fire Department. He arrived first, and he called back to Ms. Dorothy and said, send everyone. The first responders came. The building had exploded and damaged three other buildings. They had a 200-acre fire. They had to try to contain the fire. But by the grace of God, everyone came. They had I-95 wasn't finished. They called in the Navy to pick up people from the hospitals and transport them to larger hospitals. Every doctor and nurse within reach came to this remote community. But it was the workers, the co-workers, there at the Thiokol chemical plant that led the charge. They rescued the other workers, the injured workers, they took them to the gates, and everybody in the county brought their pickup trucks and their station wagons and went down and picked up people, and that was the response, how it began in the rescue effort, this emergency, which is ranked number 10 out of 100 in the last 100 years across the United States. Yet this was the rest disaster in Camden County's history.